Big solar storms are a low probability, but the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration isn't taking any chances. Come Sunday, NOAA will update its aging solar storm warning equipment. If all goes according to plan, the Advanced Composition Explorer Satellite, or ACE, will be joined by a new Deep Space Climate Observatory, DISCOVER. This is all about environmental intelligence. And if we can get the extra warning time, the 15 to 60 minutes warning time that ACE and now DISCOVER will give us, that lets us provide environmental intelligence to decision makers like satellite operators or electric grid operators who can use those moments to take some precautionary actions that can help limit the damage that a big solar storm might, might create. They don't happen very often, but when they do, they can wreak havoc, like disrupting mobile communications, short-circuiting computers, and even knocking out entire power grids. One of the best-known examples, the collapse of the Hydro-Quebec power network in 1989 due to geomagnetically induced currents. That led to a nine-hour blackout, leaving over six million people in the dark. Discover will be launched into deep space about a million miles from Earth toward the Lagrange point, where the Sun and Earth's gravitational fields are equal. When particles from the Sun reach this point, it means they are about an hour out from hitting the Earth. It's like a weather buoy offshore that's going to tell you first when the hurricane force winds arrive. It's going to let you know for sure this hurricane's coming to your shore. And that's what Discover will say to us. That solar storm you just saw, it's coming to you. A recent National Academy of Science study estimates up to $2 trillion worth of damage to key infrastructure if steps aren't taken to limit damage from big solar storms. The Deep Space Climate Observatory is due to be launched Sunday from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Center. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.